Hi, my name is Apple. This is the part one of the quantum healing hypnosis technique. Typically, we take the client through a past life experience, which is significantly related to the client's healing today. We will then proceed with bringing the subconscious of the current body to achieve the healing that the client needs today. Stay in tune. Mud. Mud. Good. Except for the... There's a... A center square. A square. Kind of a... In the middle, there's just... Oh, there's a... Like it's all the walking paths. It's like it used to be green, but it's all been tramped on and trod on. It's spring. Beautiful. Spring. The people are really poor. Is this where you live? Your hometown? No. Are you? I'm a stranger. You're visiting? Yeah. What are you going to do in this village? Okay. Now. And everyone's ignoring me. Okay. Do you have a sense of yourself a male or female? <sighs> male. Look at your hands. Your body. Are you young or old? I'm middle aged. Middle age. I, like my thirties or forties. Okay. And what sort of a clothes are you wearing? They're better than what the people are wearing. More formal, more formal. I mean, it's like you know, the uh, so it's not like. It's like I'm a merchant or business person. Merchant business. Okay. You are a businessman. Okay. What sort of a... Oh, I see cloth. You see what? Cloth. Like I sell. Cloth. Cloth. Okay. And how do you sell cloth? I don't know. I don't have a wagon with me. Okay. It's like... You all know in a very short amount of time as you explore the sea, as you oh. drop Deep, deep, deeper down. And you can know that each question that you answer, it takes you deeper, deeper. 
deeper down, down, down. And so you can now let me know. Are you wearing anything on your head? <sighs> so hat. Okay. Cloth hat. What color? Burgundy. Burgundy. Wonderful. Are you carrying in anything with you? Sword on my side. Sword. So you are a merchant. You have a sword with you. Is it something you play every day or just for protection? Protection. Okay. Okay. And how are you feeling this moment? That's you. A little afraid. You are a little afraid. It's like... Of what? It feels like they suspect me of something. Feels like what? That the people who won't look at me suspect me of something. I don't know what. People... Are just... Are afraid of you. Yeah. Suspicious about you. Yes. Okay. Oh. Now I want you to forward the time to the moment that you're meeting this person in the town. He's here now. He's here. Okay, tell me something about him. What does he look like? He's shorter than me, younger than me. Okay. He's a priest. He just came out of the church. He's a priest. What is his name? People just call him Padre. Padre. He's there to protect. Protect you? No, the people. The village people. All the villagers. Protect the whole village. And what does Pottery call you? You. You. It's you. You. How do you spell your name, you? No, oh, he just points at me and says, it's you. It's you? Okay, what else does he say? He's very angry. Angry? For what? Tell me. Oh. He thinks I'm someone who's bringing him a message. Someone bring him a message? What message is that? Be careful. Be very careful. What you do and say. You're telling Padre that? Yes. And do you know what that means? <sighs> no one knows. I've been sent by someone. You sent by someone. With my, with 
much power. And do you know who this person is? Who sent you here? He's either <laughs> He's either the king or the pope. High official. The king. Very high official. Or the pope. <sighs> what does Potter respond to your message? Or how? Does he respond? He's silent for a while. And then? You don't know. You don't know what's been going on. You have no idea. Who do you think you are? Whoa. He is so angry. And what happened next? I respond. Go on. I am not your friend, Padre. I only come to help. Help. How dare you speak of help? You, you would destroy us. You would destroy us. Go on. Oh, look around you. Look at these people. What hope do you bring to them? What good news do you bring to them? The point of a sword. Go on. God help me. Be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for. Don't threaten me, you messenger. Insolent bastard. Go on. Oh. I... I want to help you, but I don't know how. I want to protect you, but you won't let me. Protect. Tell me. Go. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what's, what has happened here. You don't know. You know. You have starved us. You have stolen from us. You have murdered us. And for what? Glory? Power? Earthly things. 
and you tell me to be careful. I have not done those things to you. I have not done those things to you. The person who sent you has. And you know it. You know it. Leave. Leave our village. Leave us in peace. Get out. Get out. I pray you. I will go. But I've given you the message. Oh, Be in peace, my friend. Good. Good. Before you go, ask for three. What things did he think you done to this village? he say he just looks at me with such scorn with such scorn Padre tell me just say I wanted to clear the air. Maybe there was a misunderstanding. I wanted to help you. Don't go. Don't. No, stay. Tell me. Tell me what happened. This... Uh, That's fine. He doesn't tell me. That's fine. But I can see it. It is faith. Send him love. Unconditional love. <sighs> and when you are ready, let this thing to fight away. And you can now move to the next important day, a day that you consider to be important when something is happening. We've now moved forward to an important day and he can let me know what's happening there I'm back with the king leading for the village go on I'm kneeling before the throne and he's angry. I tell him there are just poor peasants. And a priest that defends them. The 
they stole my property. They've not paid me. And I respond, you have nothing to pay. The peasants. God. He's not convinced. The king holds out his ring and I kiss it. Pledging my allegiance. Then I walk out. And you can speak up a little. I kiss his ring for allegiance. Bow scraping all the way out. Yes. And I feel, I feel so alone. So what you saw, no one believes. And either end, either the king or the Padre. The Padre does not believe you while you wanted to help both parties. Yeah. Is that just monetary debate, disagreement between these two parties, or are there any other things between these two? It's a long-standing argument over power and conflict. Okay. And I know, deep down I know, the conflict will be a tragedy, will be a slaughter. Um, what is the relationship between pottery and the king. Hate. Lack of respect. Recognizing on the Padre's part the power of the king and on the king the insolence of this man. This figure from God. Okay. Oh. And what time in history does that feel like? 1400s. 14. Do you have the year? the name of this place that is relevant to current map? Which country this feels like? France. 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 Oh. In the northwest. Northwest. Do you have the name of the city? Scare. Scare. And you but it's, I see a signpost. Good, what is it? S-C-A-E-R. And then there's another one in a different language. Okay, good. Can you spell it? It's almost a different alphabet. 
Okay. I don't recognize it. All right. What alphabet does it look like to you? It's... It's an old... Uh, it's harsh. I mean, it, it looks... Scary is such a short word above and a longer word below. Okay. If they mean the same thing. Okay. Or maybe it's just in the same direction. All right. And are you still kneeling before the king? No, I'm out, the, I'm out of the village. I'm out of the king's village. King's village. And... Yeah. And do you have family? Yes, two daughters. Okay. And a wife. What is your wife's name? Ella. 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 And how old is your children? One's eight. Eight. One's fourteen. Fourteen. What are their names? The old one is Francine. Francine. The younger one is Mary. Mary. And it is the village where you live? We can... Oh. I live outside of a village. Okay. Because I travel a lot. Yes. What do you travel for? To buy cloth. To buy... Material? Merchant, yeah, material. And do you make cloth? No. You buy the cell? I've got... I've got people who work for me. But I do all the buying. Okay. So you do a whole purchasing? Yeah. And then somebody sells it for you? Oh, if, I did this on my own and I'm very proud of that fact. Yes. How many uh, people work for you? Five or six. Okay. And do you have a factory, a store, or do you have a set up at your backyard? I got a store. You have a store, yes. And there are... I smell, I sell nice product, but I also sell scraps of the poor. Okay. I sell. Yeah. Scraps of the poor. Yeah, that that's wonderful. I feel dirty. Okay. I can take advantage of them. About what? About making lots of money? Or sell? I should, I should give away the scraps. Ah, uh, you sell. Okay. Oh. You feel dirty. Yeah, I feel like I have enough money. It's been very good to me, but I just hang on tight to. Mm-hmm. So you have a lot of money, and you keep any money? Yes. Oh, boy. Tell me what's happening. I have this...
feeling that if because I failed the king, it'll all be taken away from me. So he might take away everything from you. Yeah. Because if he does not trust you, did a good job for him. Yeah. Why did the king choose you to deliver the message? I'm curious. I am too now. But I'm usually a good negotiator. When I go to market, I can haggle and I can debate and I can I make really good deals for me. I see. I see. And so the king expects you to make a good deal for him. Yeah. So you are known to the kingdom. And so what do people call you? Samuel. Samuel. Oh, boy. And what is the name of the king? Edward. Edward one. Two, three, four. Edward. Any surname? John Doe. No. I don't know it. You might know that you will be able to let me know. Even though you are not speaking it up, your subconscious no. Alright, you have a business, five, six people work for you, you're relatively wealthy, you deliver the message returned back to your village and town. Now, you can move forward to another important day. Not an important day of this life. There is something important happened in this day. And so when you are ready, we are moving to another scene, another time. Now you are there. You are there now. First impression. What happens? Let me know. Let me no. And what can you notice, Samuel? It's much later, much later date. Go on. I don't know where I'm at. I feel like I'm lost. Are you inside or outside? Outside. Outside. What can you see? Road, trees, buildings. What around you? Foggy. But it's, it's... Go on. You can let me know how you feel. As you are protected. Guided to be here. You feel safe. 
you secure to explore what you need to know today? Foggy. Oh. Go on and tell me what happened. Um. Um, oh, I'm heading for another destination. I don't know where it is. I'm lost. I'm driving a, a covered wagon. And I was in a wagon train, but I'm on my own. You're in a wagon train on your own. This is now I'm in the I'm in the States. Heading west. You're in the state. I'm looking for my new looking for a menu. A new location, a new start, a new... Ah! Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I don't know where to go. And I have a wife. Yes. She's always telling me what to do. And what to, where to go. Okay. What's her name? Anna. 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 A N N A. Yeah. What year? First time we met, I teased her about her name because I could spell it backwards and forwards. That's funny, isn't it? It is. I I remember that. Wonderful. And you're on the train. Well, it's a covered wagon. It's part of the great movement west, the settlement of the west. Oh. And what year this is? It feels... It all makes sense, but it feels like I'm moving out of Kentucky or Tennessee and heading west into the Great Prairies, the Great Plains. There is sense. All you need to do is just allow the thing to unfold and just feel what it feels. Go on. I'm excited. Yes. I'm you excited for the new journey? New, new beginnings, a new journey, yes. Oh, wonderful. And how old is Anna? Her early 30s. And what about you? I'm about her age. Maybe a couple of years older. Yeah? Do you have children? Two small ones. Tom and Jane. Tom, Tom and Jane. Tom's the oldest. He's a good, good boy. He's a good boy. Tom and James. Tom and Jane. 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 He's the girl, yeah. Oh, of course. How old is Jane? Eight. And Tom? Twelve. Okay. It's People in this wagon? We're the only ones. We're the family. We're, it's all our stuff. Everything in this one wagon. And we've left the rest of the people to go where we're supposed to go. So not everybody left. But Just you, us. You did. All right. And you're feeling excited. Oh, yeah. good. Good. With Anna. What does Anna call you? 
Hey, but usually she calls me her love. My love. My love. And do you have a name? John. John. John's? John. 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 All right, John. <laughs> I could hear her say to me, my love, John. And it's like, so what are you going to do now? Okay. You should have listened to me. Yeah. It's, uh, I. Go on. I want to say, just tell me what you want me to do. But the other part of me says, trust me. We'll get where we're going and we'll be okay. Okay. And I love this woman. Sure you do. But she's a pain in the ass sometimes. I understand. All right. Oh. You're in this wagon. You're moving to the west. You're excited about your new journey. You love this woman. And now you can move forward to another place in time. Perhaps settling down in your new destination. So on the count of three, you'll be there now. Three, two, one. Be there. First impression. What can you notice? Bright, sunny, new. Uh, relief. We're there. Oh good. Where is it? It's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Great prairie. Are there uh, any houses that I can see? Yes, they're new too. Okay. And it's you? so alive. So alive. Ah, oh, sounds very pleasant. I'm a doctor. You are a. I'm a doctor. You're a doctor. Uh, what sort of a patient disease do you treat, John? Everything. Everything? You're the doctor for the town? Yeah. Okay. And what's the name of this town? New Hope. Wonderful New Hope. And what year this is? It's after the Civil War, so it's late 1800s. 1890? 1890 what? 1893. Okay. You're a doctor. And tell me more about your doctor life. Um, so yeah. I never get any rest. Everybody wants me. Everybody needs me. Ah, oh, wonderful. You're uh, helping people. I'm putting on a show most of the time. Yeah. Because most, most of the sickness I can't heal. Oh, good. Most of you're doing a remarkable job. And how are you feeling about art? Sometimes I'm very proud of what I can do. And other times I feel like a fraud. Fraud of what? They think I know more than I do. They believe in these practices I do that I don't even know if they work. I don't think they do. So but some... the people believe it. Okay. What sort of practice is that? Everything from delivering babies to burying people are telling 
watching death. But there's this there's a whole different side. And what is it? I'm there to tell them everything's going to be okay. Yes. Even when I know it's not. Well, you're trying, aren't you? I really love these people. Sure, you do. They're such a mix. Oh. Tell me what's happening. Some have been hurt so badly. Huh? Some of them have been treated so wrong. Tell me more. And I'm supposed to save them? I'm supposed to mend their wounds? How could I do that? Tell it's me impossible. What, what's impossible? Tell me more. To fix this. To heal the cure. To pull magic out of my back and say, try this. But I do give them hope. I do give them comfort. Is there something I... happened to you or to your patient? There have been women yeah. who have been brutalized and killed. Women were hurt and killed. And I couldn't do anything to stop it. Killed by whom? Oh, my. By authority? Or husband? They're just people I care for so much and they didn't even know. to pull myself up. I have to, I have to do. What are you going to, to do? To... What are you going to do about that situation? Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Because I believe her. Yep. At the end, it'll be okay. Yes, it will be okay. And go and tell them that. That's my truth. I believe you. Empowered. I didn't. I thought I was lying to them when I told them that. But it's true. It's true, everything will be okay. It, it is true. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Mm -hmm. You do now. I do now. Oh my God. Wonderful. Wonderful. How do you feel now you're telling them the truth? Everything is going to be okay. I give them back there. I give them back themselves. I yeah. don't take it on. Yeah. Oh. so heavy and now uh, you, you tell them the truth you feel better? <sighs> the truth was a lie and I didn't know it. Oh boy. But you know it now. You can move forward to another important time, another important day. That's right. Perhaps you can move. To the last day of this life, to the last breath of this life, when you are there, you can let me know, let me know, you are there on the last day of this Life. I am there. And tell me what's wrong or is there anything wrong with the body that indicates this is the last day. I'm so relieved. Okay. The fight is over. Finally it's over. All the struggles. Yes. I will join my wife. Is that Anna? Yes. Alright. Alright. I can't wait. Is there anything wrong with the physical body of John? He's just so tired. He's tired. So he overworked over the years. Oh, yeah, I was so proud of that. Look at how hard I worked. Yes. Is there any physical ailment that you can notice about John? <sighs> I had so many chances. Let go. 
there were so many people yes. who wanted to help. Yes. Oh, what pride I had. So many people you wanted to help, and you helped. Yeah, I did. Yeah? I really did. You can be very proud of yourself. <sighs> I s I see myself lying there uh, with my spectacles on as though I'm going to read something more. I know I won't. Yep. I'm a bit disheveled. But I am so... Oh, at peace. At peace. Is there anything wrong with John's body before you move forward to the other side? Any disease, ailment? Oh, it just feels so... so tired. So tired? Do you have a diagnosis for John? <sighs> Shoulders, legs, anything at all? They're all numb. They're all numb. They're just numb. So John died with a body condition that had a numbness? Yeah, it was like I... All the... All over all the body. The, all the pain that I took in left me. Left me. I couldn't hang on to it. It made no sense. It makes no sense. It's free. So John's body with all those body numbness and he was very tired. And who else is there at John's bed? in the room, your children and the grandchildren? No. And you just went? Just go? I just went. Okay. And tell me, how did you go? Did you float above or, or were you being, being sucked in? Floating. Oh, this wonderful joy is floating. Floating? Did you <laughs> float? Horizontally forward, backward, left, right, or going up, ascending? Ascending. Oh, ascending. ascending. In this wonderful space of full support. Yes. A place I've been many times. Yes. A place I still get glimpses of. Yes. And if you don't look at the scene from a movie screen, what do you see? Oh, it's this wonderful nestling help being held. 
Do you have a shape, a color? Or is it it's, it's like I can see very plainly this feminine form, long strands of hair floating. Feminine. Holding, nurturing, welcoming. Ask her, who are you? Who are you? What does she say? She smiles broadly and says, I am you. Do you have a name? She says, you call me many things. Oh, wonderful. I've been God. I've been the universe, I've been the mother, I've been the divine, I've been... Oh my... You are everything. <sighs> and she dissolves into this white, bright light. White, bright light from where? The source. From the source. And what happens then? Is she still there? No. She's gone. She's gone. And you see this white bright light? Yeah. In what shape? How does it come to you? It starts out as a dot. It expands in this flat line. It expands. It expands all around me, surrounding me. Surrounding you? It is so. Are you a form of a light? Or what? Or something different? I just am. Okay. No shape. No shape. No form. No form. Just... I am. What would you describe yourself? Perfect. And a part of everything. You're part of everything. Um, I'm the droplet of water. You're a drop of water. That makes up the ocean. Piece of the ocean. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, I will. You're everything. You know, we wonder. Gary wonders. Every life has a lesson and a purpose. As you look at the two lives that were presented to us today, What can Gary learn from it? You will always feel separate. He will always feel separated. But what? Go on. You have much to share, much to give, and much to receive. Of course. Much to receive. Okay. Just like the truth you thought was a lie. The truth.
truth, the truth is always a lie that you believed. Yeah. That everything will be okay. You thought it was a lie. Ah, the thing. What you know. Know. You know, understood that's a, a truth. That you have much to give and to receive. Okay. Now, you are in the spiritual space, absorbed by the greater consciousness and united with the oneness. You can help carry with the healing that you need today. That is, to stop sugar addiction to remove the rest of the snakes to stop the numbness of the right side of the body and to help 